Hey guys, it's Erica. And it's Kennedy here. Erica's my model. Um, today we're going to be showing y'all how to wand your hair. So this is what, or these are the products you'll need. A brush to comb out your hair. Hairspray. Any type of hairspray works. Garnier is what we're using. And a wand. Or you can use a curling iron. But you don't use the clamp. You just wrap it around the regular curling iron. But this wand was from the mall. But you can get them at CVS, Walmart, Target, anywhere you go for about 30 bucks. Um, but at the mall, they're more expensive. Okay, so this is what her hair looks like. Um, it was done two hours ago, so it's kind of fallen, but it still looks pretty. This in the clip is what we're about to do. Okay, so you want to separate your your hair off in sections when you do when you wander here, so you can make sure you get all the pieces. So we've sectioned it off in about this much of hair, and then you just put the rest up. So. This is how much hair we've gotten. Come closer. Um, used about this amount of hair. And hair usually curls better dirty, but if you wash it and dry, it'll still work good. Okay, come back up. Her hair was washed yesterday, and this is how it turned out. Okay, so about this much. And you don't have to do this, this process, but this is our first step that we usually do on every single curl. We hairspray it before we curl it, so it will stay longer. Front and back. Okay, after that, you're just going to get your wand, or a curling iron in, your, in some people's case, and put it as close to the scalp as you can, and at the bottom, the bottom of the wand. So put it under the hair is what we do. You can put it over and under. Under is just easier for me. So then you're going to wrap it around as neat as you can and as tight as you can to get a tighter curl. If you want it loose, do more hair and do a looser Put when you put it around. So you just hold it there for about 10 15 seconds, depending on how thin or thick your hair is. Um, one, two, three, and so on. And then you're gonna unwrap it slowly without burning yourself. And they should turn out, it has hairspray in it, so it might stick. They should turn out like this new. So that looks so this looks a lot better than an old curl. But this is what it turns out like. And if you brush it, but you can only brush it if you don't have hairspray, you can brush it and wand it back with your finger and it'll still be there. So if you put enough hairspray in the beginning, you won't need to do it at the end. So this, you can feel it and it's hard enough and you don't have to put hairspray in it. Okay, now you're going to let down your next piece. Get the same amount of hair. Don't stop filming. And then do the same <laughs> do the same amount of hair unless you're doing it a different way or something. Yeah. Shut up. And just hairspray, do the same process. And put it in your wand. I didn't do as much that time. Just wand it. Put it around. If you get if you're more experienced, you can just wrap it around real fast and you won't burn your fingers. So just do 15 seconds again. Or actually you can do about 10. And since it has hairspray, it might stick and just unwrap it with your finger like this. Don't just let it fall off. And so there's another one of our curls. It looks a lot better than the old ones, and I still don't need hairspray. So we're going to do about two more curls for y'all. And, yeah, and you should have learned by then. Th this, would be, this would be about four, but we're just going to do like two. Okay, so brush it out, hairspray it, and get your wand at the end, and wrap it around real fast. Only if you're experienced. Count to ten, unless you want to burn your fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten can be a quick ten. It curls really, really fast. And undo it, and there you go. Okay. So just keep just keep watching this video if you still haven't got it. We're just doing the same thing over and over. So we have about two more pieces left actually, so I guess we'll just finish on camera. But like I said, this we're doing the same thing over and over again. And then when you're done, you can just spray the whole entire head after you have all the curls. Yeah, spray your whole head when you're finished. 
So just start at the end again and wrap it around. Keep it there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And undo your curl. And your hair should be curly. Like always, like with any curling iron, it works better when your hair is wavy. If your hair is wavy, if you have naturally straight hair, it might ne work, not work as good. But it, So you might want to keep it on longer if your hair is super straight. Okay. Once again, you're wrapping it around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Unravel it. And let go. And then after your finishing process, you might want to hairspray it. As you can tell, you might want to put a lot of hairspray because you can see that, come closer to the camera, you can see that the curls come out a lot fuller than they do when you started, if from when you finished. And the curls, when when they're done a little bit, they get they get hooked together. See how that all looks like the same curl? It wasn't. It was the small curls, and so you just have to separate them. So this is what the beach wave looks like. If you want them to stay really curly, do that. But if you want them beach waves like this, like waves, just brush them out. Um, thanks for watching our wanding hair tutorial. Bye. Subscribe. Bye.